Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Remy from Do and Learn. So today we will learn how to convert a normal sum of products function into sum of min terms. So as we know, min terms are product terms. So product terms which are fully formed like with all the variables in it. But there are or oh, but there is a possibility that we can even have functions without min terms. So how to convert these functions which are normal standard forms into the canonical forms. So canonical forms is nothing else but min term and max term. So let's try to solve this problem f is equal to x plus y dash z. So this is in sum of products but we are supposed to convert them into sum of min terms. So let's start working on it. Let me term the first one as t1 and the second term as t2. Now t1 is x. We want to express this in the form of all three variables or min terms. So what we are supposed to do, we need to find out z and y. So let's get started. So I have x here. This can be replaced by x into y plus y dash. So if I just multiply y plus y dash here, which is nothing else but 1. So x and 1 is x as we know. So there is no change in it. So I can replace this term with x into y plus y dash. This can again be replaced as after multiplying inside x y plus x y dash. Now z is missing here. So what I do x y plus x y dash into z plus z dash. We know that z plus z dash is 1. So it's not going to affect the whole equation. Just we need to get the min term. So we are doing it in such manner. So if you multiply these two again, so then we will get x y z plus x y z dash plus x y dash z plus x y dash z dash. So this is the value for t1. Let's take t2 which is y dash z. Here only one variable is missing that is x. So this can be replaced as y dash z into x plus x dash. So when I multiply inside I get x y dash z plus x dash y dash z. So I have two equations. Let me add them. So final f is equal to t1 plus t2, which is nothing else but x y z plus x y z dash plus x y dash z plus x y dash z dash plus x y dash z plus x dash y dash z. Now if you see x y dash z appears two times. So we can just take one and we can cancel the other one, the repeated one. Let's try to check whether we have any other repetition. We don't have any other repetition. So the final answer or the final function which is represented in the sum of min terms is x, y, z plus x, y, z dash plus x, y dash z plus x, y dash z dash plus x dash y dash z. As you know, these Variables or these terms can also be written with the short notation. So let's you now write this in terms of zeros and ones. The x, y, z can be written as 1, 1, 1 when I am writing in terms of min terms, plus x, y, z dash can be written as 1, 1, 0. x, y dash z can be written as 1, 0, 1. x, y dash z dash can be written as 1, 0, 0. And x dash y dash z can be written as 0, 0, 1. So 111 can be written as M7 plus 110 can be written as M6 plus 101 can be written as M5, 100 can be written as M4 and 001 can be written as M1. So the same function can also be expressed in the sum of min terms format like this 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So that's it. We got the function in terms of sum of min terms. Now let's take another problem and try to bring this function as a product of max term format. As you know, this function f is equal to x plus y dash z. I need the final output in terms of product of max terms. So first of all, I need to bring this function into product format and then also in terms of max terms. So let's take them individually. So x plus y dash z is there. So if you apply distributive law, then I can 
re replace this statement as x plus y dash into x plus z. So now we have brought this function into the product format. So the very first step what we follow is expressing this given function which is in some format into a product format and that's what we have done here. We just apply the distributive law here. So that becomes x plus y dash into x plus z. Now I can consider this as term 1 and term 2. If you take term 1, it is x plus y dash. So I am missing the third variable z here. So what can be done? I can replace the same function with plus z, z dash. I know that z, plus z into z dash gives me 0 and anything or 0 gives that anything value. Now again you reapply the distributive law. So x plus y dash plus z into x plus y dash plus z dash. I consider this as one element and this as the second element. So I've got two elements here. Now taking t2, here I have x plus z. I'm missing y here. So this can be replaced as x plus z plus y y dash. Again, if I apply distributive law here, that gives me x plus y plus z into x plus y dash plus z. So I've got the value for t1 and t2. The final solution is t1 into t2. So that's nothing else but x plus y dash plus z into x plus y dash plus z dash into x plus y plus z into x plus y dash plus z. As you can see here, x plus y dash plus z is repeated twice. I can just take off one element and I can retain the other element. So finally, the function is expressed in terms of x plus y dash plus z into x plus y dash plus z dash into x plus y plus z. So if you write it in terms of zeros and ones, then we can rewrite them as 0 plus 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 1 plus 1 and the third one is 0 plus 0 plus 0. So now I can write the equivalent max terms for this. So 0 plus 1 plus 0 is nothing else but max term 2 into 0 plus 1 plus 1 is nothing else but max term 3 into 0 plus 0 plus 0 is nothing else but max term 0. So I can write the same function as product of max terms. So this is the product symbol and the max terms can be written like this m0 or you can simply write it as 0 comma 2 comma 3. So this gives me the final function in short notation. So this is how you do in order to represent this one into a product of max terms form. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you.